ones that are winning things. So, and then one of these days we'll figure out how to, how to blame them. Of course, uh, the congressional investigations in the gates are going to do it. And unfortunately, uh, George is not going to spill the beans the way Fryer did. Uh, but George is an interesting guy, interesting guy. I almost, I almost was going to call him. Did you, did you see his picture of the globe? This fella has a toupee that is really a wig. Actually, I, was, I contemplated uh, contributing to his uh, defense fund if he would only let me use this rug from my uh, hall stairway. But uh, anyway, uh, where were we? Uh, yeah. Oh, slime. Yeah, slime. 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 But they're very, and they put their pseudopods out, all these individual little, little amoeba running around through this, squeezing it through the, the ship and eating it. And then suddenly, see, they, they, they live on it until suddenly the ship begins to run out. You know, I mean, it's been, they spent the last week with the tweezers picking the, the little, the, 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 the last bits of leaf out of the seeds. And finally, they're having, they're having the smokes. You know, it's been a day smoking seeds, and, they, and, and so this message goes out through the colony that the ship is running out. And all of these amoeba, in response to this signal, start crawling back to the, to the rendezvous point, where, in a frenzy of orgiastic communal ecstasy, they become one flesh. And they send up a fruiting body, which opens up and spews out these spores, which drift on the wind looking for a new ship. So the slime mold, which demonstrates, uh, which is a natural demonstration that the Republicans are wrong when they say communism doesn't work, Perfect. and that, and that, uh, when the shit is running out. It may be the best choice for supply. And it, so that's 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 where we were. That's an extra history of, uh, of the slime mold. And uh, I would like to actually. There's a there was some about time. Okay, I'll end with just kind of end with the uh, with uh, another name I use, which is simpler. It's called. Uh, Trumpeter swarm, and it goes like this. Sometimes in April, when I cross the bridge between MIT and the back bay, a faint odor catches up with me, and I can see with my being who remembers the ice age, two millions of wild waterfowl come to rest and feed and fertilize on their migrations. And I ask the white man in me, what happens when the marshes disappear? When the salt grass we thaw endless isn't. When the eastern flyway is scraped out of the sky by the tombstones of these cities. How then will my son inherit the soul of a Canada goose? And where will I find the wings of a trumpeter swan? 